Brother, you're going down. Irwindale Speedway, baby. Between the two tortillas. Irwindale drag strip. What is up guys and welcome back to the vlog. What's good? So last week you guys saw us get Juan's bagger dyno tune. Do you remember your exact numbers? 107 horsepower. 116 torque. And what was mine? 98 horsepower. They had different ones. It was like 96. It was in the 90s. Okay, and high 90s. to 120 torque. So I beat you in torque. But I smoked you in horsepower. Smoked. Here's the deal. We're actually gonna go see what these things do head to head in the real world, not on a dyno. We wanna do this the right way and uh, we wanna be able to max these bikes out. So where are we going on? Irwindale Speedway, baby. So Irwindale Speedway is about an hour and a half here from Moore Park, California. It is traffic time. So you guys are gonna get to see a little bit of lane splitting. We're gonna rip our way out there, get to Irwindale Speedway. It's like open night where they basically let anybody race the drag strip. Test and tune, or I think they call it Thursday Night Thunder. All right, so what do you think we're gonna see when we get out there? I've been there, I've raced there, both cars and bikes, super fun. Usually you get a lot of muscle cars, you get some imports. You sometimes get bikes, I've seen Harleys racing, out there some sport yeah. bikes i don't know uh, it's a little chilly so the bikes might not show up but uh, you're gonna see a lot of cool stuff all right guys well let's get on the road let's get out there we're gonna get geared up like one said it's a little bit it's a little chilly out there showed up to join the ride and get into the races. What up, Rob? your excuse why you want to get gas now i want to use some so i'm not racing on the full tank welcome all right thank you very much do you plan on hitting the track i do all right are you gonna race a car or are you gonna try to race us i'm gonna try to race one of these all right well juan and i are gonna have to go three races all right best, best out of three. three that's fair all I'm right cool with that. but brother you're going down homie this bike is happy all right what are you doing you could go on uh e85 corn fed on yeah, this thing put a little flex fuel on this thing <laughs> So I'm gonna make him pump the first two gallons out of this yeah, hose. what the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna do some quick math, see what they pump last. Don't worry, Juan, you're gonna get that 87 in your bike right now. I'm gonna spill a gallon out of here, bro. <laughs> Give me a water bottle. Here you go, here you go. Let me see that 87 go in there, Juan. How's that feel? Not good. I'm only gonna put a gallon. And then you're gonna have a just a gallon of 87 in there that you're racing on. All right, come on over, brother. Let's hey. put that in full 91. You're gonna need all that. You, are, you, you already had, you already had what four and a half gallons out. Thank you, sir. You're gonna need all the help you can get. So I'm okay giving you a 91. <laughs> Why are you filling it all the way up? <laughs> yeah. Just making sure she stopped off. Why yeah. He just put as much gas as he possibly could in my tank. I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride the whole way there in third gear. <laughs> Not far. Getting off the freeway, running over to the electronics store to grab some more camera mounts because we're gonna run some extra cameras on this so we get some cool angles of the drag racing. 
All right, you guys want to wait out here while I run in? All right, secured the goods. Let's get back on the freeway, boys. Big fan of you guys. You guys Thank are the best. You. Thank you, man. Yeah. Appreciate what you do. So we're heading out to uh, Irwindale Speedway right now to go race all these bikes. I'm jealous. I'm yeah. Be safe, guys. Yeah. Thank Take you very care. much. You have a good one. Yeah. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Forty bucks each to race, guys. I'm excited. I got a couple of things I gotta remember in my mind. I gotta remember to make sure my traction control's off because my bike will like sputter if it spins. Like I can't turn it off and it'll just stay off. I gotta always do it when I start the bike. Got that in my mind because the one out of three, I can't let one be a, a dud, dude. Let's get it. Tech form, let's go get these filled out and get on the track. Out part of it, then they'll fill out the rest. You're gonna go up against the Shermanator. <laughs> just go ahead and fill out your personal information right here. All right, I'll sign at the very bottom for me, and I'll just go ahead and fill out the rest. Personal information, and then they're gonna check our tires, suspension. We don't have a drive shaft, traction devices, brakes, no windows on these, yeah. flywheel, gloves, boots. All right, so we, yeah, this is our area protective right here. clothing. Okay. We have to have some of that, which we brought some stuff. It's not the coolest. It's kind of goofy because it's all we had last minute. But it has to be a Snell approved uh, help. They should be Snell approved. So let's see. We'll see if these. So it usually says Snell approved, then we look for the date. Okay. Because they're only good for 11 years. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so we're getting denied because our helmets aren't Snell approved. Okay. The uh, handicap parking yeah, over by the grandstand left. sells helmets. Yeah, he rents helmets no, out for the night. Yeah, I, oh, okay. It should be 20 bucks for the night. Well, so we'll go rent some helmets. We already failed one part of the Jeez. test. They probably, modulars aren't probably track approved if you really think about it. I was thinking, I was like, I was like, Laid Laws isn't far. I'll rip oh, over yeah. there and buy, but who knows if theirs are Snell. So I got my paperwork filled out. Fill all this stuff out on my own for the bikes. It's pretty simple. We just make sure you have uh, ankle boots, you know, proper helmet, pants, suit and you got a chain guard as well. So I won't be able to sign off on this until you come back with a helmet, but everything else looks good to me. We have, uh, let's see, like I have boots right there. Let's go see what they got for rental helmets. What do you guys got, rental helmets? Oh, you let me borrow a helmet? Yeah, for like small B. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they said you need, a helmet. Yeah, they said we need Snell helmets. Speakers? Yeah, I, yeah, those are speakers. Your boys need them too. One and I, we got some crusty helmets. Ready to race, brother. All right, good deal. There it is. Got that Snell approved. Yeah. Are they gonna be able to see that? When it dries, it, it's oh, a little yeah. more visible, yeah. Oh, oh Wands is clear. Yeah. Wands is like silver. Oh, I see. It's yeah, going so out. It's okay. going out. Like right. my number is higher than yours. That means I'm gonna win. Signed off. 
ready to race, man. I think we need our license, actually. Oh, good, good thank you. Do you have a driver's license on you? Uh, yeah. I do. I need to grab it really quick. I'm gonna call Raymond to make sure that he gets signed off so he can get those six shots from the track. Eight, nine, seven, eight, brother. Look, it's not those cars that are chopping, it's my bike. All right, so check it out. We gotta put our boots on and stuff like that, but the line's already getting long to get on the track. So let's go get in line and then yeah. we'll get geared up. Hi, I'm David, nice to meet you. I'm Lance, nice to meet you. Bikes never come on stage. Okay. They never come on staging. Okay. Go back out that. You guys never come on staging because bikes, you can get hit and hurt. Cool. So just pull a Yui, go back, and then for the rest of the night, you always line up next to the tower there by that chain link fence. All the bikes go there. All right, cool. Thank you. Rock and roll. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. Track record on a motorcycle is four seconds, 4.72 <laughs> seconds. Realistically, I think we're gonna be high sevens, low eights. I think we're gonna be high 80 mile an hour, maybe in the 90s, I think. I don't know, depending on how good the track is, but we're gonna have a lot of fun, and for sure, my bike's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Irwindale drag strip. Things are about to get started. The sun is setting, and the good times are about to be had. Best out of three, it's a fun experience. Yeah, it'll be fun, and it's interesting. I don't know, you know? I know my bike makes more power, but yours makes more torque. We're gonna see. Yep. What do you got, brother? I'm dialed, bro. Boots, jacket, leather gloves. All right. We could have gotten ready like over there. Right. And we're grabbing extra GoPros, trying to get them on the bike. Okay. Jesus, <laughs> this thing weighs like 100 pounds. I'm adjusting my shifter for the boots. Gotta make sure there's enough room. You couldn't get under that shifter? I mean, I could. I'm not gonna risk it. Money, baby. <laughs> they're gonna let a couple cars go out and then they're gonna let us go. First two cars out in the six second range. We're up any minute. One thing that I don't want to forget, so I'm gonna do it right now before I get on there, is the traction control. Juan's bike doesn't have it. I'm gonna hold that button down. I'm gonna wait till it's on. So I should have track control off. Took that one. All right, brother. Hey, are you thinking a nap on no, the over there? I just spun. When I got to the end, my engine light and my red light were off. My red light was off for the burnout. When we did the burnout, it triggered something. So oh, I passed at 81 miles an hour. He passed at 90. Big difference is your 60 foot. That's how long it takes you to complete the first 60 feet. Yeah. And if you do bad on the 60 foot, your run's done. Yeah, so my 60 foot was half a second where I was just doing this. Oh, I was hoping that with the stickiness of the track that I fell on my shoes and the burnout, I was like, oh, we'll be good. What? You guys ready to go again? Let's go again. Let's go again. All right. Behind the guy in the red. Race two, let's get it. Behind the guy in the red. All right. Race number two, my engine light's on. 
All right, so we basically got to the point where we were almost next up on the track, but the, the run in front of us, as somebody's head gasket or something went out and the end of the track is covered in fluids. So they got the service team down there basically trying to get the track prepped and ready. We can take another stab at this. I dumped the clutch that last run. Uh, rookie move, my mistake. I need to slip it out a little bit. I thought I was gonna get more grip to be completely honest, fun off the line. Hopefully that came across on camera because I do genuinely want to give these bikes a good run. And that yeah, was total it was a good run. Around. I smoked him fair and square. Homie can't get off the line. It's got the little dirt bike technique. Doesn't work over here on the freaking drag strip. That's it. I'm messing this full up when we get off the bikes. See the shiny? Don't be in the shiny. I'm you, not that bad. You're not that bad. I'm not that. Hey, hey, I'm not that guy. You're not that guy. But I was the clutch dumper. I'm, I'm let down on myself. I can't wait to get back. I'm yeah, like eager. I, I, we turned that corner. I was like, back of the track right now. This is I unacceptable. Was to, I was trying to like soak in the wind. They're like, you guys want to go? I was like, oh, all right, all right, let's go. <laughs> Water down there, so we have to clean it up first, then spray it, or actually drag it, then spray it. All right, so we can get glue on there, so you guys won't be spinning the tires. Yep. Gonna get some stick. I'm on my lane. Yeah. Hey, he said, he looked at me and he said, hey, brother, spinning ain't winning. I <laughs> was <said>. like, <laughs> I think I, that was, hopefully that was about five to 10 PSI, brother. I don't have to do that to my wife I, now, bro. I'd like, I'd like to see my tire actually start to sack out a little bit. <laughs> it's when I, when I get on the, when I dump the clutch, you just see the tire just twisting. Rah! Got a gate? Oh, here we go. Here we go, thank you, cheers. Oh my God, hey, I heard Juan's tire letting air out and I thought it was this yeah. thing. 35 PSI is what I got. I'm way higher, I'm at 37. Where you at, bro? 30, 31, brother. All right, I believe we dropped about 10 PSI, which I'm not too scared to ride with 30 PSI, uh, cause I still gotta ride home. I'm sure somebody's got air here, but. All right, no cheating, brother. How much horsepower? Uh, over a thousand. Over a thousand horsepower. All right, have fun. So what's gonna happen is, is they're gonna spray it down right now, put some glue down. Yep. And once they're doing that, and then they're gonna come back again and they're gonna, uh, Go right over again so the, so the, so the track gets stickier. All right, cool. And then we're going to be ready to go. All right, let's get it. took it but uh that time my tire hooked up i was much better off the line but i think my reaction time wasn't as good as his uh they didn't have the sheets for us so they said to go inside of the office and get the sheets for the official numbers hey brother what happened you know hey, i was nice sleeping guy. i was sleeping on the my tree guy, i was sleeping on the tree he got a better launch he took good notes hey the little 107 with the camp throws down i do want to see the mile an hour that's going to be a big indicator of like the real horsepower i know like everyone compares dinos and stuff but the I trap speed at the end of the rear. track is a good indicator of how much power your bike's making that doesn't lie but god it's such a letdown you're off the line and i already see you two bike lengths ahead and i'm just like we're going the same like i know i can't catch, catch you, up. you hey, know? that's a good sign for this so we see, just came see. out of the tower they had our official numbers let's here let's see bro let's see how excited he is Winner left lane so look uh let's look at the reaction time uh 386 to 407 so you did i a did beat you second. but not by a lot and look our 60 foot were a lot better you were 2.5 now yeah. you're 1.9 1.7 okay. is yeah. actually yeah. pretty good okay. like for a car that's really good et 76 to 81 so you're still in the eights but you definitely made an improvement 90 mile an hour the 107 
85. So you you picked up five mile an hour, but still five less than the so 107. So the question is, it's funny when you turn the corner and you go to get onto the track and then you're at the lights, your heart rate goes up. Yeah, you're like, and everyone's watching. Yeah, the there's lights. people around and you're like, you're like, oh, this is like, this is for real. We gotta yeah. go. Basically that time I was more focused. Like you said, I was like, all right, first light, second light. And then I was just staring at the That's tree. Like staring at the light so my goal on this next run in defense of like if we're comparing bikes that first one was was bonk out the window that first one was bonk but we can still go out of three but i do want to see if we can get the 117 under an eight second quarter or eight mile and you could do that 100 percent, right i think if you bring down your 60 foot to closer to mine again weird right we're looking at the 60 foot so i did a 1.7 Lance at a 1.9. 0.1 second in your 60 foot translates to a lot more than 0.1. Yeah, yeah so that makes sense. If you could take 0.1 to 0.2 off here, you'll be in the sevens. Yeah, so that's my goal. So I still want to get back out there. I want to line back up and I want to try again. Because right, I'm having fun too. It's sick, yeah. yeah it's interesting though, and it's rad to see that now the 107, hands down, it, it makes more power. You think but, so? Yeah. yeah, and again, the top speed at the end of the track, that's the biggest, like not Let's a Let's try again. Let's try again. Let's see if I can get my bike to go any faster and my launch time to go any better. That's a sleeper. It's got the work truck tires. What up? You know if you're getting towed in with one of these, it's a serious race machine. I also know that Rob wanted to get out on the track yeah, a little we bit. Lower bikes so you can race some and then <laughs> see if I could beat anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Line's getting really long for the for the races, so we're gonna grab some food before we hit run three. And Rob's still gotta go on the track. Yeah, we gotta see. Yeah, I'd like to that. try it. I just asked Rob how bad did it look? Like I smoked Lance and he made a face. He's like, wow. Oh, I smoked you. Where are you at? Oh yeah. my god. That was race one. That was first one. 107. Things eat hey. tonight, brother. Hey. Wait till the chop six going to 117, all right? Hey, hey, I could hey. have a two second late reaction. <laughs> and when we build mine, we're gonna do some head work. Oh God, what's that? Look, we got right. hot dogs, nah, dude. burgers, I see soda, Mexican food right, right there. there. Look at tacos. It, tacos. And That's it, dude. That's got a store, tacos. Three al pastor uh, tacos, and then one al pastor queso taco. Two al pastor tacos, and one queso taco al pastor. For, uh, what do you call the honey stuff? The Middle Eastern stuff. Look at that. Mm. I mean, right off the bat, I feel like that one, Always got to go with the cream. What do you think? Extra hot? It says, shut, shut up, up and juice. Dial them in, brother. This is mine. Just one Dr. Pepper, pepper, right? Look, I'm ready to go. Yeah. One with the shut up juice. Wait. Here it is, guys. See that? I just ate the one with the shut up juice. <laughs> I'm dying right now. I'm going to hurt. That is no joke. But I got one molitas left. I'm gonna call it a molitas, even though it's a queso taco. Same thing. Basically a quesadilla between the two tortillas. Bomb. Not bad for trackside meal. No. Tacos were good. Nothing better than trackside tacos. Yeah, we didn't have to go good. anywhere. Little break between some motos. Back at it, third time. Really, we, you know, one already won, two out of three, but I think the point now is can I improve my reaction time? I think the CBO has a seven in it. We're gonna go again. Yeah. If I don't get it under, under eight, uh -huh. you ride my bike and race Rob. Well, yeah. But you need to get another practice one with Rob. Then another pra I haven't had a practice right, one. You act like I've been practicing all right, that. That's my first time doing this. Get a practice run with Rob, then we'll race. And if you still can't get that thing in the eight, then you're gonna take a first shot. I think that would be worth it. Then, yeah. I wanna see what you could do on my bike. Yeah, sure. All right. Check out this thing with the exhaust coming out the front fender. So they're 
they're pushing it off the track and it looks like that car is not going down the strip tonight or at least not right now Again, he's trying to get uh, in the sevens. I, I want to compare it to my last one because I felt good off the line. One thing that we did that time, I didn't know you can request it to go yellow, yellow, green, or have it go green, yellow, green. And it's so much better like, like that. But I'm trying to see if my reaction time got any better or worse. Reaction was 0.4 this time. Sleeping. I learned a lot on that one though. I felt so much more comfortable. Yeah. It is a little like intimidating once you like pull up and the light and like I didn't know like what to expect. When was it gonna go? But yeah. that time I was like getting more comfortable. 0.407 and my reaction was 0.81, so it was worse. Go, he said after this, otherwise we gotta wait the whole cycle. So let's go, me and you back on the track right away. I know I'm beating him up, but it is you gotta get the cobwebs out first couple of runs. No, I was full rookie, dude. Full rookie. I was like, what? I when I left the line on my first run, I didn't even want to keep going. I wanted to turn around and try again. <laughs> I immediately was like, why even cross the finish line? 1.56. 1.56. Equal. That would be running a quarter. I'd run a 12.48 and a quarter mile right now. 7.65. Five. Five. Times what? Ooh, to go. We're up next. This is our third run. We're gonna follow behind this Corvette and this Mustang. My fourth time on the track. I just want to get my number under eight. What did I going out? Run three for us. I just didn't give it enough RPM, but uh, RT was pretty good. I did a 241. I mean, it's probably the best one of the night and uh, I still won 90 mile an hour. So that hasn't changed. The bike's consistently running 90. I had a, my best reaction 0.345. So quite a bit better in reaction. The other ones was in the fours, spun the tire. So I was only able to get up to 82 miles an hour in the eighth mile. So now Juan beat me all three times. I think it was a little bit of rider error as well as as his bike does seem to be faster. For fun, I'm gonna make him ride my bike and see if he can do what he can do on my bike to see if, if it is, how much of it is me. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll flip flop or something. Let's get back out there, Juan. What happens? It's and then the traction control, that light will come on. It comes on? Well, your bike's probably gotta be on. So you just hold it, the light will turn it, on? The light will turn on, and, then, and I think the ABS light turns on. You do it before you burn out? You have to. The bike won't burn out. Oh, it would just be really? on the line, it would just it would shut itself off. The throttle response and how this bike feels is incredible compared to mine. Let's see if we can get that 160 foot down and break this thing into the sevens. Alright, here we go.
had to beat one, but it's on his own bike. The 107 just put down more power. Two things that I noticed riding your bike. Right off the bat, it was harder for me to get the tire to spin. Uh -huh. When I went to do a burnout, it was fighting me. Uh -huh. It was pushing the front end more. It had great traction off the line, so I don't know if the tires are different. That was my worst reaction time of the night. Yeah. I went 0 .55, 0 0.566, but I was still able to get his bike up to 89.91 miles an hour, so fastest I went down the drag. Obviously, I beat Juan. His, his reaction time was 0.324. I was off the line better. So he was off the line better. He still consistently was in the 0.3s at his reaction. That was pretty consistent for you. But he could only get my bike up to 84.83 miles an hour. So it goes to show you no matter what, even though I will give Juan that his reaction time is incredible and he's great on the drag strip, I have to say that no matter what, the cammed 107 with Allen's insane tune, you could feel it, how crispy the throttle is. Yeah. That bike rides much better. It, Dude, just twisting the throttle on the line so got me excited. It was crazy, see, I felt like I got a good start. I kind of got the jump. You did, I watched him, I was like, no, he jumped me. Yeah. But then I, I, he jumped me by like, like a split and yeah i felt it and then the 107 just came around i was like no holding yeah. it that's pretty rad dude yeah. i'm stoked the cam made a huge difference this bike this bike stick and uh you know it's always gotten me like fired up to ride the cbo but the the cam just makes it a lot more aggressive like you notice like the throttle you hit yeah. the throttle on this and like it's like Ugh. that thing's like yeah yeah. When I was on Juan's bike, I was able to crack the eight second, eighth mile. I was able to get his bike at 7.611 seconds down the eighth mile. So I did crack that eight second number that I wanted to do. Also when Juan rode my CVO, we did not crack the eight second. He did an 8.075. That'll be up uh, on our blog on thrashandsupply.com. We'll have all of these sheets up there. You can check out the comparisons. We're not done. This whole drag racing thing opened my eyes. It's been sick. We've seen import cars, Lamborghinis. I've seen Audis, Mercedes, BMWs. Then I've seen just random cars with random engines in it. I want my bike to have the same throttle response as Juan's no matter what. This opened a whole nother thing. We're going to be back here. This has been really fun. So thank you guys for hanging out here at Irwindale Speedway with us, watching the 107 and the 117 rip down the drag strip. Juan, dude, thank you for opening my eyes. Yeah, man. We got to get this bike in the sevens and we got to get my bike deeper. I, I I mean, I don't know, getting it in the sixes would be insane, but uh, I think it's, it's fun. It's a nice challenge. It's a yeah. fun challenge. So, all right, guys, with that being said, we'll see you guys when I'm doing my cam and my bike. <laughs> see you later.